Well, good morning, my friends. Welcome to another Wednesday morning vlog with John O'Leary. I'm delighted as I am every Wednesday morning to be with you to celebrate the great possibility of waking up from accidental living and living inspired lives. Uh, what kind of impact are you having on those around you? I just want you to think about that question for a moment. What kind of impact are you having on those around you? I've been thinking about that question quite a bit, like the, the, the direct and the indirect ripple effect of not only my life, but our lives collectively on those around us. When I was a nine year old little boy in a hospital bed, I got a whole lot of incredible visitors to swing by, pay me a little bit of attention, pay me a little bit of love, give me a little bit of encouragement, and bring into my life a little bit of hope into a time and into a place that was otherwise extraordinarily dark and full of despair. Uh, you all know the story of Jack Buck and his ability to bring encouragement into my life. What you may not know is Jack is the reason why not only other ball players showed up, but the reason why a football coach named Gene Stallings came into my life. Gene Stallings was the coach for the, the St. Louis Football Cardinals back in the day. He'd go on to coach at Alabama. Uh, he'd won a national title there. And as a little nine-year-old boy to have the football coach for the St. Louis Cardinals coming into my world, into my bedroom, into my darkness as a burnt up, dying little boy was extremely motivational. So why did he come though? In part, Gene Stallings came because Jack Buck invited him. And yet it's easy in life when we get invitations not to show up not to attend, not to swing by the neighbors or the parents or the friend's house because we're just, we're just so darn busy. So why did Gene come? I, I think in part Gene came because he'd been dramatically and directly impacted by another young man named John Mark. John Mark was his son. John Mark had some pretty significant special needs. And although John Mark uh, may not be seen by a large chunk of society as being perfect, as being successful, as being a, a high-flying, achieving guy. The reality is John Mark taught those who knew him what real success, what real significance, what real achievement, and what real impact might look like through life. Uh, not only did he teach it to those who knew him in the community, those who knew him from the back of church, those who knew him uh, from school and from the neighborhood, from those lucky enough to bump into him in, the, in his community. But he also taught his dad what real success, real significance, real impact, real love, and real life looked like. John Mark may have had some challenges, yet in embracing them and in, in fully celebrating the life that he had, he taught the rest of us how to really live, how to truly impact including his dad, who then shared that love and that impact and that ripple effect with me. I think too frequently in life, we think to ourselves, well, I'm no Jack Buck, or I'm no Gene Stallings. I've never even won a national championship with any school, let alone Alabama. What can I do? And yet the example from young John Mark is we can do amazing things when we make our life a living example of vibrancy, of forgiveness, of love, unconditionally, uh, of service to those around us. I've been thinking about this a lot because recently I interviewed Andy Andrews on my podcast. If, if you've never checked out our podcast, check it out now. It's under Live Inspired with John O'Leary, the podcast. Check it out. It's also available at johnolearyinspires.com. It's certainly worth checking out, in particular the most recent one. But Andy Andrews talks a lot about the butterfly effect, about the ability for us to flap our little wings in life and in doing so have this immense impact in our houses, in our places of work, in our places of worship, in the places where we grab coffees in the morning and maybe glasses of wine in the evening, the little things we do, the smiles we offer, the visits that we tend to, the encouragement we offer, have the ability, like it or not, to profoundly and permanently impact the lives of those around us. It's happening, my friends. Whether you know it or not, your life is impacting those around you. My challenge, my reminder, my invitation to you today is to intentionally focus on having a profoundly positive impact on your kids, 
on your parents, on your partners, your spouses, those you teach, those you serve in the hospitals, those you serve next to in your organizations and places of work. Everything we do matters. Today, my reminder is act like it, act like it. Um, my friends, for this time and until next time, this is John O'Leary. You flap those wings and you know that this is your day. Live inspired.